Hey guys, this is David with Great Choice Audio Video. Hey, we have another video this week to show you guys what we do on pre-wires. Now whether it's new construction, whether it's a house being remodeled, kind of the tactics, the questions we ask to the client, to the home builder, as far as uh, what we need to run, for what, where, all that kind of stuff. So there's tons of questions to ask. So on your next project, make sure you ask these questions to your home builder, to the guy that's doing all the construction, because you be missing out on some technology that you know you won't be prepared for. So uh, I'll start with the basics. Now, in running wire, uh, most of the cables that we run uh, are RG6 or Quad Shield RG6 and Cat6. Now, Cat6 uh, can come in different colors. We typically try to use the same color, but if you don't know what Cat6 is, you kind of see there it's four pairs. You do your blue, blue, white, your orange, orange, white, green, green, white, and brown, brown, white. And this has a, what we call a drain in the middle. Cat6 can be used for a multiple things. Um, you can use it for internet. You use it for uh, phone lines. Um, you can use it for control, uh, whether it's RS-232 to a device or IR to a device using a pair. Uh, it can be used for what they call HDMI valence or adapters. For video distribution can be used for multiple things so this cable is kind of a magic cable these days uh, just for so many different things so anytime we're running any kind of TV drop TV location or main equipment's going we usually run several of these you know for all those things for control for internet um, video distribution audio distribution all those things so you can't go wrong by running plenty of cat six and then of course, you know, you got speaker wire. Um, typically, you know, we'll run 16 gauge or 14 gauge, depending on the length of the, the run, you know, how far from the amplifier to the actual, you know, speaker. So, um, two conductor to each speaker, you got your positively netted, and there you go. When talking about your house and what we want to do, you know, it all starts with the floor plan. And so here in a second, I'm gonna take you guys to a generic floor plan that we've been working with, and it kind of asks some questions on the different rooms you know, because you have to start there, where you're going to have the equipment, and then all the different, you know, questions you want to ask. So we'll go to that and uh, see you in a minute. Hey, it's David with Great Choice Audio Video. It's Ronnie. And we just got through doing a nice pre-wire, and we want to kind of show you guys what we've done here and how we do things and why it's so important to do a pre-wire at this stage of the game. Because wire is actually inexpensive at this stage of the game, and it's a lot easier to run. So, yeah, it is a lot easier to run there. <laughs> one of the things we want to show you is, you know, we're here at the front of the house. And tell us what we've done so far, Ronnie. So, you know, when, when you think about walking up to the house, you ring your doorbell. So we wire for a door, video doorbell connected to the network via this wire versus Wi-Fi. Now, a lot of people kind of forget about doing cameras and, you know, Having a, I know there are a lot of solutions out there for wireless cameras, but the problem is, you know, they're not as dependable uh, as a wire camera, and we'd much rather do a wire camera. So typically, you run what, a Cat6 cable to all the cameras? Yep. So we have one over here in the soffit that'll look over the front entry area, yard, front yard. And then we have one over here that'll look over the driveway as you enter through the portico for the garage. Nice. And we try to hit all the good areas where people are going in, out of the house, you know, front door, back door, garage, driveway, front yard, backyard. A lot of, a lot of places people forget about is backyards, especially if there's a pool. You may have young kids, uh, neighborhood kids, friends, family that are back there. It's nice to have an extra eye on the backyard pool area. So, you know, camera does, you know, make sense. Yeah, and we do have cameras back there. Uh, as we'll take a walk around, we'll, we'll get to showing you that. All right, let's go inside. Nice big entryway, for sure. Here's the living room. And if you go ahead and just take a look, since we're right here, we've actually ran all of our wires through this chase that go from upstairs to downstairs to our home run in the living room. Now for people who don't know, the home run is a location that we have what all the equipment go. Whether it's you know receivers, cable boxes, uh, camera NVRs, all those sort of things. Yep. So right here we already have all our wires ready. We're all 
zip tie it up so that way when we come back we can actually cool it up, put it in a, you know, a plastic bag to protect it from paint and everything when they come in to do sheetrock and paint. One thing I noticed that we do, uh, that you know, you would think everybody does, but they don't. If you look at these lines, they all have labels on them. So that tells us where those should be going. So when we come back, when the house is done, to ho start hooking up equipment, it makes things a lot easier, and we're not having to tone every single wire, try to figure out what is what, and where do we run that. So what we got here, we have a, obviously a fireplace, TV by the fireplace. So we, of course, we ran, what? HDMI cable? and two Cat 6s. Okay. Now why do we run the Cat 6s with the HDMI? What is that? Well, say the HDMI fails. One can be used as a video bailing. Uh, let's say you want direct connection to the TV. Let's say you want audio return from here to there. There's all kinds of solutions with a Cat 6 there. Okay. Another reason why in every house, run extra fire. Yes, this is the master bedroom. We have our TV up here. And we have one coax and three cat sixes. One cat six is strictly just for our network, and then the other two go to the home run. So if they want to do a, a multi audio system, they can send the audio from here back to there. Let's say they want to send video from there to here. It's all capable with the three cat sixes we have available. We also have a pair of speakers that we have lined up in here. Very nice. So, most TVs these days, unfortunately, do not have great speakers on them. No, they do not. Matter of fact, the bigger the TV, the worse the speakers. Usually it's a small 8-watt speaker in the back of the television. So, a big master bedroom like this, whether you're watching you know, your news or you're watching sports or a movie, um, and in this particular room, your headboard is way over here and your TV is way over there. So. How loud do you think you're going to have to turn that to listen to the news or watch a movie? Or watch anything. So that's why we always try to put speakers so they'll be amplified from the TV. So then you're not using the TV speakers, you're using a much better speaker and closer to the listening area. Now this is a cool, this is something different. This is a master bath. And tell us about what we're doing here. This so is what we cool. got here is we have a pair of speakers that are all ran with two different types of wire. Same wire, but two different areas. So we got one that set that goes to the living room home run area. That way we can play music sh shared throughout the house in here as well. But also, let's say they just want to go with the TV audio and never play music from anywhere else. It's dedicated to have an amplifier down below here. And uh, this will be a mirror television that we'll do. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have everything wired down below. We'll pull it up behind it later when they decide where they exactly want it. Yeah, this would be pretty slick. Mirror TVs are, are so nice. Yes, here it has done it right with those mirror TVs and this will be a very nice one once it gets done. Yeah, that's cool because we gave them both options. So yeah. whether they go with, like you said, uh, a whole house system where they want music to go through the speakers, then you ran the wires to the home run, or if they don't do that, and they, like you said, they want just a local box with just the audio going through the speakers. Just like we talked about in yep. the other areas, three cat six is one for your internet, two for any type of, you know, video, audio, control, anything you can think of, it's there. Yep. So as you can see, there's kind of a trend going. There's, there's extra wires, especially Cat 6, going to all these locations with TVs because there's so many things that you can do. And if you don't run the wires, at the end, you don't have those options, whether it's internet, control, audio, you name it. Well, let's say you want all your equipment hidden. You don't want it in here, but you want to utilize these speakers. Where you got to have it wired somewhere. This room is the office, library, study, so uh, I know one thing that the builder asked is if we had something cool going on in the ceiling, some type of a six inch, uh, six foot radius in a circle okay. diameter type With thing. With some really cool cross beams or something like that. So what we did is it looks like you got a pair of speakers just on each side of where that cylinder or that round yep. molding is going to go. And then we have a TV above the fireplace. Same thing. You know, we have coax and several cat sixes. So it gives us all the options from running a local box to getting audio from the TV, back through the amplifier, through the speakers, tons and tons of solutions. Yep. All right, let's move all the way across over that way. Let's go through, what, to the kitchen area, maybe? Yeah. Oh, well, while we're on our way to the kitchen area, 
they have a guest bath that is pretty similar to the master bath and will have a uh, mirror TV. We wired the exact same way. Go ahead and take a look. But instead of doing a pair of speakers, we just did a dual voice coil. And it's right there. And now for those that don't know what a dual voice coil is, it's actually one speaker that has a left and a right. So dual tweeters. So you actually get a left and right in one speaker. Yep. The reason why we do that is it's a small area. I wouldn't put two speakers, so Ronnie had a good choice of putting one. What we have here is the kitchen. A nice big open kitchen. Yep. We've got two speakers spread out pretty evenly lined up on the cans, so it looks symmetrical in here. Uh, we always leave extra length. They'll say that they're there, the homeowner. Anybody needs us to move them, there's extra length to move them somewhere else in a close radius. Now one thing I noticed as we were walking through here that you had something on the wall here. It's like it's for a future touch panel? Yes, touch panel so they can control the whole system from right here. Nice. Without uh, going and grabbing any remotes or anything like that. So now the touch panel will allow us to control audio, video, lighting, seat cameras, cameras, you name it. Mm -hmm. The touch panel will do it. Super nice. Way convenient. And we have here the theater room. A basic 5.1 system with uh, one pair of Atmos. Okay. So that'll be what a left, center, right. Yep. Pair of rears, and then your pair of Atmos. And again, it looks like you have all these strung down temporarily because they're moving some cam lights and moving some joys so yep. we can evenly space they're, it down. They're not quite done with the room, so we just left them to where we can come back and adjust them later. Okay. Nice cool dome in the middle, and then it looks like in the back of the room. We have, looks like a CAT6 and a, a fiber optic HDMI cable for our 4K content. All your 4K content. All right. Looks like the equipment is going to all, all go in front, so yeah. there's going to be a cabinet, I guess, go all the way across there. Probably so, a low boy. You know, mm -hmm. Have your left and a right, all your equipment down for just this room in here. Cool. A little bit of planning in this room. And another cool thing that we wired for is a shade for this big old door here. Oh yeah, yeah, because theater room, you don't want light coming in. Nope, and when you want it to be a theater room time, push a button, shades close, watch nice. your movie. Very nice. Another thing people forget about, because guess what, you know, it's the middle of the day, you got the sunshine nice and bright, but yet you got the game on, and all this light comes right into your screen. So, having a cool motorized shade, yep. take care of that problem. So we've got TVs going here. I'm guessing that's going to be a fireplace. Yes, they're going to be building a fireplace here. Uh, the builder told me to just drop it in the center, so that's what we did. Okay. Um, we have a 16-4 uh, speaker wire ramp here, so we can do a sound bar with the TV for nice. this particular sitting area. Nice. And then we also have a pair up here, so we can hear everything clearly as not having to crank everything up because we have multiple pairs of speakers out here. Push the bud there. We also have a pair that will be up here. So it'll be for this sitting area, that sitting area, that sitting area. We take a look over here. This is our master uh, covered porch area. And we have a pair of speakers and a TV that for any outdoor type of watching that they want to do. There should be pretty cool. I've heard of the you telling me that they were doing some kind of spa, swim yeah, spa? Yeah, there's here. a swim spa right there. So, how cool would that be? You got your outdoor TV, you got your music. It's going to be a nice entertainment area. So, I know we haven't gone upstairs, but there's another little balcony that we looks like we've added a, a speaker uh, for that area. Yep. Uh, you know, like we talked about in the front yard, was cameras. We have one camera here that. You know, the rule of thumb is you can think about a camera is going to see what you're going to look at. So, you know, it's going to see this door here, plus out to the backyard a little bit. And then we also have one on the opposite corner that will see those doors and then those doors off in that little area. How many cameras you say we do in this house? Eight. Eight cameras. Very nice. Seven and one doorbell. So we actually put four speakers in here spread out evenly. So they can listen to their music, uh, watch the TV out here while they're getting things done. Very nice. Yeah, I know doing the initial walkthrough with the client, we, had, we actually asked uh, 
know, do they have anything planned for the garage? You know, like you said, working on cars or games. And yet, as a matter of fact, they were. They're, since it is such a nice garage, they're going to put in, uh, I think, ping pong tables and a few other things and then a TV and how awesome it would be to have whatever's playing on the TV on the speaker so um, they can enjoy a nice kind of game room, I guess. Uh, just like all the other areas with the TV, we've got all our cat safes and our co-wires so we can do multiple different things. Nice. And then Very one cool. last camera that we did is actually right here. So you'll get to see whoever pulls up in your driveway towards your garage area. Very nice. Well, as you can see, the water off water ran from this house. And definitely worth it at this stage of the game because there's so many options out there. You know, when you have uh, people streaming like crazy more and more today than ever uh, from your TV services, through your music, uh, laptops, mobile devices, you name it, internet is king right now. Uh, you know, 4K content. You look back at, we, we did a video on cutting the cable. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people are actually moving into their houses, getting these deals that only last a couple of years or six months, and then they're cutting the cable. So your internet's gotta be reliable. Your structured wire has gotta be reliable. Yeah. There's a reason why we wire for so many things today, because we wanna be prepared for the future. And if you're not doing that, you could be missing out. You know, yeah, there's wireless um, pieces of equipment that do solve problems, but it's wireless. If you can wire for it, wire's way better, it's way more reliable. Just remember that if you think it's hard to get to during the pre-wire stage, imagine getting to it later. <laughs> so let us pre-wire your house or new construction project or remodel. And let's think about all the things that need to be done and uh, sit down with you on a pair of floor plans and talk about all the possibilities so that way your house is prepared and ready for the future. I'm David. That was Ronnie, and well, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like the channel. See you next time.